three minute gameplay and there's a black so just tucking through the center the queen's gone to the other side of the board feeling it might be out of place there but bring the bishop through looking for a discover check on their queen they move their queen out of the way developing the knight looking to get safety on the king side with our king develop the bishop making space for castling and castling so now we're safe uh, our opponent is obviously potentially looking like they're going queen side castling and they've gone for a greedy munch with the queen up down on the bottom so our rook can actually just attack this um, queen because we could potentially just win that pawn back so we grab the pawn with the rook and just develop the knight attacking the queen also attacking the bishop queen greedy munches again for a pawn and we take the bishop with a check on their king they capture back now we're looking for a simple exchange so it's a simple exchange process here white at the minute on the gauge bar is looking like they're um, winning and then they castle long pause so we grab the queen at this point though the opponent did resign now if you have a look at the case on on board he does have his bishop that can actually take the pawn the queen sorry so i'm not too sure why they actually resigned in this uh, situation because they're still winning on the gauge bar it's plus point point eight so don't know the rationale behind that I believe it's because they didn't actually see that their ninja bishop could take the queen and they thought that their queen had been taken for free. Have to be mindful of that because that does actually happen in games I have watched as well. Um, I may have done it my, on the odd occasion in my own games um, where I've gone, well I don't believe I've won here, I've lost the major piece but then when you look at the evaluation you could have actually taken the piece off of the board with something so you have to be mindful of those types of situations